the Novena of Prayer before Pentecost, Thy Kingdom Come, has become part of the rhythm of our life in the Christian churches. So I encourage you to take it up. Every opportunity to pray and the opportunity to pray in a structured way and in a way that brings us together in prayer is immensely valuable. And that is true of Thy Kingdom Come. We pray in anticipation and asking for the gift of the Holy Spirit. Now that's so central to our faith. It's the Holy Spirit that gives life to the church, that gave that first impetus to the gathering of the disciples and Mary to go out and to begin the proclamation of the gospel, the good news that only Jesus Christ brings into this world. And so we pray for a strengthening in that spirit in our, in our effort to announce the gospel in word and in deed. So it's really important that we use this period, this novena of prayer before Pentecost, to allow the Holy Spirit to fill us. It's a time in which we receive. You know, we cannot ever earn our salvation. We have to receive it. And we receive best with open hands and an open heart. And then there's this as well. The Holy Spirit is the God's power sustaining the created world in being. It is the Holy Spirit that transformed what we call the chaos into the cosmos, the ordered world. And what better time than now for us to be thinking about how we cooperate with the work of the Holy Spirit in protecting, enhancing our natural environment, the world, because it is our human environment. In caring for the world, we care for each other. In caring for each other, we care for the Creator and show Him our respect, our due, our deference, our service. So may this Thy Kingdom come be a prayer from our hearts that the Holy Spirit transforms us into servants of the Word, and servants of the created world made through the word himself.